Hi everybody, it's Patty and welcome back to my channel. I've been tagged to do this uh, Hot Lips Houlihan tag and I was tagged by two different people. I was tagged by Susie Clancy and I was tagged by Tammy from Uppies Beads. So if you want to see the tag, stay tuned. <music> Okay, I'm going to have to read the questions. So let's just start with question number one. In 100 words or less, describe your winter and summer skin types. My skin pretty much stays the same summer and winter. I'm normal to dry and my beauty routine as far as what I do doesn't change that much for skin care. Uh, number two, what eye cream did you use last night? I did not use an eye cream. I rarely use an eye cream. I have not found one that is does anything any different than what I normally use and what I normally do is I put what, whatever I'm putting on my face, I put on my eyes. Number three, how is the hunt going for a neck cream? Same thing as eye cream. I have Never found one that I thought worked. So I just, whatever I'm doing to my face, I do up to my neck also. Number four, what skin care products are helping you win the war on aging? Well, I'm still using my homemade vitamin C serum. I'm using argon oil and I'm using hyaluronic acid. That's all. I do that during the day. At night, I uh, do my rock retinol products. And by the way, I'm going to do a new skincare video update here real soon. And I'll talk about all that. Uh, number five, do you still use black eyeliner? Yes. Number six, is face powder your friend or enemy? You know, I unless I wear my Bare Minerals, I do wear a little bit of powder just to set my foundation. And about... I don't know, within the last three months, I would seen a couple of people talk about the old, old, old Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder that all of us older women certainly remember. And I decided I would try it again. So I went, the only place I could even find it in my area is Walmart, but they didn't have my shade. Evidently, it now comes in three shades. And every time I went by there, the shade that I thought would be mine, they were sold out of. So last week, finally, they had my shade in stock, and I purchased it. And mine is the Translucent Extra Coverage. So I tell you what, I absolutely love this stuff. I love it. Now, the I think both people that I saw... Um, talk about this said what they didn't like is the top doesn't screw on so uh, there's no way to contain it and it would be really hard to travel with this. I have an empty Bare Minerals container. It's either from foundation or mineral veil that I'm going to put some of that in this for or some of this and that for, for travel. But I love this and it was I want to say about six dollars for that big old container. Number seven, do you care if blush has sparkle? I don't care, but I would be awfully funny looking, I think, if I wore any blush with sparkle in it. As I get older, I'm 70, so as I get older, uh, I would, you know, maybe 80 or so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be one of those women and I'm gonna have makeup on so thick and I'm gonna be dressed so wild that I, I will get attention. Um, number eight, any makeup tricks to help you look more youthful? Not really, I just do my makeup the very same way I've always done my makeup. Number nine, give your beauty sisters of a certain age three quick makeup tricks. If you're not doing it, or makeup tips, excuse me. If you're not doing it, I would say number one is sunscreen, number two is sunscreen, number three is sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen. Makeup tips, be yourself. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and can't do. Do what you want to do. That's my tip. 
Number 10, are you using any weapons of mass destruction on your age spots? Nothing other than my homemade vitamin C serum. Number 11, does the phrase thinning hair have a special meaning to you? No, I have enough hair for probably five or six people, so no. Uh, number 12, which looks younger, your hands or your neck? For sure, it would be my hands. Although I, you can see my sunspots on there. But yes, my hands. Uh, my neck. I hate my neck. I hate my neck. I apologize for my neck. I'm so sorry for my neck. When you watch my videos, you have to see my neck. I'm so sorry. Number 12. What bothers you most? 11s, crow's feet, or lip lines? For sure, lip lines. Number 14, have you ever had to pluck a chin hair? Yes, yes. What do you do about your mustache? I do not have a mustache. Um, sometimes I get some fuzz right here. Uh, and if I do, I use one of these things. You've seen these. I just sort of take care of it. If I get any fuzz, sometimes I'll get a little fuzz here and I do the same thing with that. Um, how many pairs of reading glasses do you own? How high can you count is what I'd say. How high can you count? Um, uh, I have these obviously and the, the, these are just my extras. I have a pair in my purse. I have a pair in my, uh, car. I have a pair in my husband's car. I have a pair on the table next to my chair. I have a pair next to my bed and then I have all of these. And these are all the Joy Mangano Glap readers. And if you re wear readers, and if you have not yet found Joy Mangano on Home Shopping Club, go look up her readers. Let me show you how they come. You order them in sets, and they're, all the sets are always different. So you just have to look and pick what, which set you want. But they come in a plastic bag, and then the plastic bag has one of these little cloth bags that you can uh, store them in, but also clean them with. And the little string tells you what's color, what color is on the inside. This is a pair I haven't worn yet. I always love the colors, always love the colors. They're not real heavy on your face, but they have some weight to them, and they have the little spring action. I've never had a pair of these break. I've ordered these on three different occasions. I always order them, not always, but if I see her making a presentation, I order them, whatever collection. Normally they run, if you can buy them individually, and if you do the math on it, about two to three dollars per pair of glasses. She always includes a pair of sunglass readers, which I really like. So, I, you know, I love them. <laughs> I love them. Uh, and I get compliments. I probably get more compliments on my readers than anything else. Everywhere I go, I don't care where I am, somebody is going to come in and ask me where I got them. Um, number 17. You win your choice of a neck lift, eye lift, boob lift, or tummy tuck. Which one would you choose, without a doubt, my neck? Number 18, are you more concerned about wrinkling or sagging? I, the wrinkling doesn't bother me. I think wrinkling tells you about character. It, it tells you that, you know, that you've lived, you've had some experiences. I don't have... Although I've had all that, I don't have a lot of wrinkling. My face has been sagging. And um, I'm getting the, I'm not getting, I have the little jowls right here, the little pooches. I have the double chin, which Dr. Oz says comes from the sagging. I um, never had this until about five years ago. Uh, again, I'm 70, but my neck was always so smooth, and I never had a double chin. Never. And when my face started to sag, I got the double chin underneath here. And also from the sagging, that's why your neck starts to do too. It's just, it's just everything is gravity. Everything is pulling down. So, 
for sure the sagging. Number 18, do you go sleeveless to Walmart in the summer? <sighs> Not usually no because uh, number one, I don't ever like to go sleeveless because I, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, enjoy it while you have it, girls, if you're younger, because those under those arms, it's going to go. It is going to go. I don't care how much high tones you are, it's going to go. So I rarely wear every, I rarely wear anything sleeveless. So whether it's Walmart or wherever, unless I'm out on the beach, no, no sleeveless. Number 20, best memory of your mother's beauty routine. Growing up, we were so poor that if there was any extra money whatsoever, one of us got a new pair of shoes or we put food on the table. So my mother never really had a beauty routine. Uh, after we were all away from home, grown, on our own, uh, my mother started taking, really taking care of herself. She was always a beautiful woman. And I, had re I do remember her having lipstick on, but I don't remember her putting lipstick on until we were all out of the home. And, and she would go to the department stores and buy skincare and makeup, and, and she really started uh, using it. I remember her using a hand cream, and she bought it at Penny's. It was back when Penny's had their makeup departments and their stores. She always bought it at Penny's, and I would take her sometimes to get it because she was out of it. I cannot remember the name of it, but it came in a pink tube, and she it was a hand cream that she used on her hands. I think they had some skincare products too, face products, but... I never, I don't think she used those, but she always used that hand cream. And my mother never had spots on the backs of her hands, never, or on her arms, never. She always used that cream. I have racked my brain trying to remember what that was, and I don't remember the name of it. But it, as I said, it was in a pink tube, and she used it two or three times a day and never had age spots. But that, I remember that as far as her beauty routine. But I know, too, that up until the day, pretty much the day my mother died, she got up every morning and she took her shower and shampooed her hair. And from the time she was probably my age, she had a little short bob. She bleached her hair still, had it colored. And she would dry her hair herself and... Um, blow it dry with a round hairbrush. She was still doing that, and she did it every single day. My mother was, as Oprah used to say, as cute as you can be. Oprah did a show many, many years ago uh, talking about fixing yourself up every day when you leave the house. My mother did that every single day of her adult life, especially after we were gone. She was dressed and coordinated with her her makeup, her hair, her jewelry, her clothing, her shoes. I mean, from the top of her head to the tips of her toes, she was totally cute. And uh, she was my inspiration, and I miss her. So that was the last question. I have some people to tag. I'm having a senior moment. I cannot think right off the top of my head uh, who I want to tag here. But I, I've seen this tag by so many people. Um, but I'm going to list some people that I watch uh, on a regular basis down below in the description box. And you can check there. And uh, I'm just going to tag them to do, that vi to do this video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.